Now, some good news for women today. It is official. We have better brains than men. Yay! Yay! A tiny little bit, just a tiny yeah. little bit. No, but this is scientific. Scientists have confirmed that female brains are, on average, nearly four years younger than men's. Um, and it's, they've looked at how the brain uses energy over a lifetime and it proceeds more gradually in women than it does in men, which explains why women tend to stay mentally sharp for longer. Yeah. Some of them do. That's why, that's why, that's why I'm going to show with four women so that I can use your three brains. <laughs> I'm sorry, do, you know me, don't you? All morning I'm going, so and so, thingamajig, da da da. Because I can never remember anybody's name. So does it worry you, though, really? Yeah, it does. It does worry me a lot. But, you know, Mark always tries to make me feel better. He says, you know, you just remember things that other people don't remember. He said, you can recount in the finest detail someone's emotional or what story. You had for lunch yesterday. Or for lunch <laughs> or for breakfast or anything, but you just won't remember names. You know. But it does worry me, and I'm doing all the things that, you know, I've stopped drinking, I'm doing the, all the aerobics exercise. I, I talk a lot about learning the piano in a language, so I'm yeah. sure that's helping me. Talk about it a lot. <laughs> Still haven't I keep done planning it. it. Um, yeah, so I worry about it. Every single day, yeah. But what, what, what are you worrying is, about? Yeah, but I think, but I think anxiety, killing her brain cells, isn't it? But I think anxiety is just is just something that bubbles away, doesn't it? And you could, I could, it could be tomorrow, it could be cancer. Tomorrow, I just have general health anxiety, and I think that comes for a lot of people at certain age, especially because I know I did a lot that was very wrong all through my life. I drank too much, I partied too much, I'm still I went doing out with it. wild men. <laughs> I've got news for you, Nadia. I'm still doing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, I suppose that's where it comes from. And that I sort of do think, have I got to the point now where I've got to get to the bank and I've got to pay? Oh. I'm worried I've got to pay. Oh, yeah. Re payback time. Mm. Well, actually, I do... I maybe should worry about it because my dad had Alzheimer's mm. and I may be in a bit of denial, so I'm the opposite to you. Mm. So I just go, I don't want to talk about it, yeah. don't want to know, don't want to do but the test. It's tests, not hereditary, you know. is it? Well, there's no scientific um, yeah. proof mm. that it's hereditary, but you do worry. Yeah. So, you know, and I do have those moments where I can't remember something or a name. I do have that little niggle here going, uh-oh, and then I push it away because I think, just live your life now and mm. what will be, will be. So maybe I'm in denial a bit. <laughs> here is worry because every woman watching this show has got two potential big areas of worry one is cancer and and uh, the other is dementia and I just decided I am not going to worry about them because you can't achieve anything by worrying all you can do with cancer is have the right tests and be vigilant about your health but apart from that don't give it a moment's thought. thought. Yeah, and doesn't you know, worry drive you to do the things that you need to do? I so if I worry about it, I think, all right, I'm not going to no, drink too much, I'm going to exercise more and I'm going to... Oh, no, you're making a rod for your own back. I mean, I think that women age better than men full stop. I mean, if you go to any restaurant or go in the pub at the weekend, look around the room, one lot will be really well-dressed, smiley and so on, and then there'll be the men. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, these are the things, um, ways to improve your brain age. Ooh, okay. Moving your Ooh. eyes from side to side, doing this horizontal <laughs> eye movement. <laughs> I just look like you're 30 seconds each day helps with memory tasks by activating and linking your two brain hemispheres. Ah, ah, which way? That's Show it. me, show me. So from side to side. Oh, that looks dodgy. OK, what about this one? I bet this is really thing. hard. Brushing your teeth with your non-dominant hand. Oh, I, I, yeah. I try and do that. This no. helps to rapidly expand yeah. parts of the cortex that process information. That's amazing, isn't it? I bet that's quite hard. Yeah. What is a crossword? It's not, it? just, it's not just that either, <laughs> is it? It's doing all sorts of things, like walking backwards and... and... Here's one for you. Or what? If you can't remember people's names, clenching your fists. <laughs> Research suggests that balling up your right hand and squeezing it tightly helps memorise names and lists. I am Ruth. Hello, Ruth. <laughs> Hello, Ruth. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That might get in trouble. Yeah. I, live, I live in the ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> no, but maybe when someone's being introduced to you, your right hand here, and oh. you go, hello, and you squeeze your hand yeah. as you're oh. saying their name. I thought things like crosswords and stuff like that would they be on there, but there's not. No, no it's not. Staring at trees. <laughs> oh, because that's mindfulness, so that reduces stress oh, and cortisol. And improve yeah, your memory, that. focus yeah. and attention <laughs> performance by 20% and turning familiar objects upside down. Come on, Janet. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I look at trees. I, I think trees are very calm. That's meditation.